an IDEX machine with six heads? Yes, it's the MakerPi P3 Pro. So, do you want to know more? Just stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. Hi guys! I'm Sandra and today we will unbox and check the main features of the new MakerPi P3 Pro, an IDEX 5-in-1 machine. This machine was just released on Kickstarter and today we will show you all the details. So, let's start with the unboxing. Inside the box we can find the user manual, one high temperature filament head, one laser head, one dual filament head, a set of filament trays and spool holder, the second set of filament trays and spool holder, one of the common filament heads, the second common filament head, a flexible filament head. At the side we have a box with parts, and at the center we have another box with more parts. Next, we have the top half of the printer. And finally, the bottom half of the printer. Inside one of the small box we have a small card, a couple of PTFE tubes, Allen keys, a couple of PLA filament samples, tools and small parts, a USB cable, a spatula, a cutter, spare nozzle and spare pneumatic fitting, and zip ties. Inside the other small box we have a long cable, the power cord, and another long cable. And this is everything that came inside the package. This is the user manual. It looks complete but there are some small details missing. These are the parts that will collect the filament remains from the nozzle. Each tray includes a small flexible piece that will be used to rub the nozzle and remove the filament. And these are the parts for the spool holder. Between them, we received one small part from a set of two that was designed to help guide the filament. As later explained from the manufacturer, these small parts and also the two PTFE tubes will no longer be used in future machines. And this is one of the two cables that will connect to the heads. On the side that will connect to the heads, they have a filament sensor attached. And this is the base. The print bed is 310 by 310 millimeters and has a magnetic print surface on it. Under the bed are the adjustment screws to level it. The manufacturer decided not to include the traditional knobs to help level the bed. This means that the adjustment needs to be done with the wrench tool, which will not be as easy. At the front is the color touch display and the Y-axis belt tensioner. At the left side are a couple of USB connectors and next to them is some information written about each head's position, E1 or E2, their offset and so on. At the right side is the power supply voltage selector. And at the back are two connectors for the long cables. The Y-axis runs on wheels and also at the back is the end stop switch. This and all other end stops are electronic instead of mechanical. These two openings is where we will attach the vertical profiles from the top half. And finally on the back panel is the main power connector and the on and off switch. The access to the electronics is done from under the base. To open the bottom panel we need to remove all these screws.
The main components are the display, the board and the power supply. Between the power supply and the board is a small fan to cool down the drivers. The power supply is at 24 volts and 18.8 amps from Meanwell. The board is an F450 main version 1.0. It's a 32-bit board and includes six removable TMC's 2208 drivers. At the back corners are a couple of small boards and it's on them that the long cables coming from the heads will connect to. The one where the E2 head will connect to has an additional driver on it. And this is the top half of the printer. The X-axis where the two heads will run on is equipped with a linear guide. At the back, we can see both X-axis stepper motors. The Z-axis runs on wheels, and it's driven by a couple of Z-stepper motors and lead screws. And these are the six heads that came with the printer. Starting from the right is the dual filament head, the first common filament head, the second common filament head, the laser head, the high temperature filament head, and finally, the flexible filament head. The dual filament head includes a layer cooling fan installed outside the head. And at the back, the two extruder stepper motors. This head will allow mixture printing using two filaments as long as they have the same printing settings. Underneath, we can see the optical leveling sensor. At the top is where the long cable is attached to. There is also an extra connection for the filament sensor. And this is what's inside. Here we can see the mixture hot end and an extra fan inside. These are the two common filament heads. The second head is equipped with the manual nozzle height adjustment, so we can match with the nozzle from the first head. They can print together or individually and were designed for filaments like PLA because the PTFE tube line heat break inside. The first head is basically the same, however, this one includes the optical leveling sensor near the nozzle. On the enclosure is written that the max temperature is 250 degrees C. However, and to avoid damaging the PTFE lining inside the heat break, we recommend not using temperatures above 240 degrees C. And this is the laser head. This head is very simple. Inside is a laser module with an output power of 0.5 watts. The high temperature filament head allows printing with temperatures up to 300 degrees C, thanks to its all metal heat break. This hot end also includes a hardened nozzle. Inside, there are a couple of cooling fans just for the hot end. And finally is the flexible filament head. This head is also equipped with the PTFE line heat break and a dual gear extruder to help push the flexible filament more easily. Ok, we are now ready to assemble the printer. On our follow-up video, we will assemble and test this printer. We will also give our full review, so don't miss it. And that's it you guys, hope you liked the video, we will see you guys next time. Bye!